Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Season 1 of Julia, which is a new series on HBO Max focusing on the life of Julia Child and her show, The French Chef. And this basically recounts how The French Chef came about, how Julia Child became such an influential figure in food, and also digging into her life, her marriage, and her relationships that helped build her up to the point where she became this iconic figure. Now, recently I did see the new documentary, Julia, and I thought that was such a great film, did such a great job of portraying her life, and you know, it's a biopic documentary, this is a biopic show, and I feel like they do a really fine job of portraying the, like, the drama of her life and the drama of her getting her show up in a way that doesn't feel overly melodramatic and overly dramatized to the point where it just feels, you know, manipulative. I think it does a fine job of really crafting, this is what happened with this woman, how she got to this point, and plays it off in a pretty effective way. And I feel like the narrative that they chose to follow in this first season of her getting this show up and running, her trying to do these inventive things, her finding balance with this new life and attention along with her husband, Paul, and also confronting what she wants to do with her future and if this is something she really wants to continue and help define her career and her future moving forward. And I think the last episode of the season does a fantastic job of confronting those kinds of feelings and really having that balance and that internal struggle that Julia is having. And I think the show is well written enough to be able to confront those internal struggles that you might not get from a documentary because it's from like the outside looking in. But when you're writing it narratively, you can explore those kinds of feelings. And I feel like this show does that in a really good way. And, you know, it's fun, it's a charming show, it's well made, it's well shot, and it definitely captures the period well, and that conveys perfectly on screen, you feel like you're in it with them. And this cast is exquisite, you have Sarah Lancashire, who's Julia Child, and she's great, she doesn't feel like she's a caricature, she's not going over the top with it. She feels real, she feels human, and but still capturing that big personality that Julia Child had. David Hyde Pierce, as her husband Paul, is fantastic. I love their dynamic. They work so well with each other. You have Baby uh, Newworth as one of the friends. You have Brittany Bradford, who's this young producer who's really trying to make a name for herself. And there's a lot of just great supporting actors throughout this series that really help bring some life and some character to things. I loved Christian Clemenson, who played James Beard. At one point, they had an episode where Julia and James like go out on the town, and it's an absolute delight of an episode. But it also has that drama of, like, how does Paul feel about this? And then... The drama between Julia and Paul in terms of not always being on the same page and trying to adjust to this new way of life, I think was really well done and I cared about their relationship and I think that's one of the highlights of the show. And in general, I think that this series is a really well done biopic series that hits on some relatable and poignant issues and also does a fine job of crafting the evolution of the French chef and how that came about without it feeling too too on the nose and because it you know it's like this had to be this way it's like oh my god do you get this reference and it's just like I think the show avoids those kinds of tacky obnoxious narrative beats and delivers something that feels real emotional and relatable and you can really latch on to Julia in this show and f follow her exploits and enjoy this this exploration of her personal life, her professional life, and how she became 
who we all know as Julia Child. But those are my thoughts on season one of Julia. Let me know what you think and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.